Everybody else still clear to take off? FM, wind check 06012. Good thank you. Switch. Rolling. No. Entering North Wales MTA, we're going to proceed into Low Fly Area 7 for South of North Flow for approximately 30 mic. You clear takeoff and display, the surface wind is 07012. Well, a very, very good evening to you guys and welcome along to um, a show world and uh, tonight as you know from the uh, title we're um, live from the um, editing uh, van so um, a very good good day to everybody I hope you're all feeling fit and fine and uh, we'll run through in just a moment exactly what um, you can expect and what we're going to be doing on this uh, special show this evening as always make sure you do the usual and um, share the uh, live stream around let's get as many people on as possible and keep as many people on the chat box so without further ado before we start the actual show we're just going to say hi to all you fantastic people out there and of course the one and only phoebe stern and she was first in the chat box today so hi phoebe i hope you're feeling good and western champion man 2008 hi ryan ryan hi to you and did i see the airbridge cargo and um, he's asking that um seen it a few times um um, Phoebe, how are you all? What have we got here? Steve Connor, good evening, everybody. Good evening to you all. Saying Phoebe, Gary Madison, Neil Gustav from Edinburgh. Hiya, Neil. Good to have you on again. Uh, Phoebe is uh, uh, looking at this from her phone. All right. Hey, Phoebe, we've got some special stuff coming up um, pretty soon. You make sure you um, you stay tuned, all right? Steve Connor, the nights are drawing in. Well, it's definitely uh, getting dark. <laughs> Imagine it's getting dark here where I am right now. Hey, to let you know that we are live, it's um, 9, I'm sorry, 1936. Uh, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's, I can just about see outside through the uh, window. What do we got? Owen Pohl. Hi, Owen. Let's give that released. Okay, his message was just held for a minute. Great to have you on that, Owen. Space Dreams and Steve Connor. It's quite dark here as well. Okay, Space Dreams. Don't forget, keep sharing. Uh, if someone can put a uh, message in the chat box, let me know. You are receiving me loud and clear. Okay, check through. What are we doing tonight? Um, well, we're going to be showing you um, some... Um, videos obviously that um jamesy was uh, pretty busy uh taking uh, he was out and about last uh oh last week week last week whatever it was and um so we're going to be showing those in a minute uh, we're going to be starting off with um ref um coningsby so that's coming up for you in just a moment and uh, let's see what else we've got at um we're doing something quite special tonight um around about um eight o'clock we'll be uh, linking up um live with the plain talking podcast uk right and that goes um out all over the world as well and uh, they do a uh, uh podcast uh, an audio podcast as well it goes out um as video um right now but thank you john robinson let us know it's five by five so uh, that's what we're going to be doing linking up with um plain talking uk podcast so that will will be going out live on their system so what um what you guys see is exactly what they're going to be seeing they're going to be putting it out live but they also do an audio podcast and that goes out all over the world to thousands and thousands of people so that should um help everybody and um it should be a little bit of fun and um so the first video that's going to be coming up uh, we're going to go um rf coningsby rf marum um, then um, some fantastic uh, video footage from uh, Milden Hall. And while we're actually uh, talking to the uh, Plain Talking podcast um, guys, um, I shall be showing you um, a replay of the La Company. Um, hey, I can't even say, I can't say it properly, even after I've said it over 100 times now, but that beautiful A321 that came in on Wednesday 
um, afternoon and then it um, took off again and I'll be showing you that video so I've put the two together and um, that will be going on while we are talking to the uh, Playing Talking podcast guys and gals okay so without further ado I will keep going through the uh, chat box don't forget keep um, sharing the video about because I want as many people to be uh, watching this as possible and uh, sharing all the good fun that's going to be going on this evening so let's start off um, with um, some absolute beautiful footage um, that um, James took from um, RAF um, Coningsby so um, just waiting for that to go here we go so as you see um, we've got the fantastic um, typhoons RAF typhoons uh, one of the guys the other day said hey can you do some RAF stuff so that's exactly what we're doing right now I'll just um, check the sound make sure and um, we are getting this all okay Oh yes, I can hear the engines right now. And of course, as always, I'll be giving you guys the mention. Steve Connor, Fab Stu, loud and clear. Thank you very much. Good evening, Stu. Hope all is well. That's from Carl Thorne. Hiya, Carl. Don't forget, keep sharing. Keep sharing all of this around. And uh, if you're new to this, do the old subscribe and um, do the notifications. Look at these. Wow, these typhoons. Beautiful. Hey, Jamesy, you're yeah, doing a good job. Beautiful, beautiful bank. That's superb. When we do our um, link up with um, Plain Talking UK podcast at eight o'clock, what I should be doing is um, going through exactly how um, Airshow World started off, uh, basically. So I'm not going to go through that at the moment. But um, hey, a way that you guys, especially um, the uh, y younger ones that are starting out, listen carefully, and there'll be some tips coming up. Nice one, Phoebe. She's going to Manchester. Runway viewing park tomorrow. Have a good day. Look at this. This is beautiful. Head on shots of the um, beautiful typhoons. Love that. No, um, Braz, what this is, it's um, we're literally sat in the editing um, van at the moment so um, it's just something we do probably um, twice a week it's um, a new sort of um, thing concept we thought we'd put together just um, as a little bit of extra fun for you but I'll be running through what we're going to be doing over the next few weeks very soon um, Space Dreams if you go to the Facebook page on um and he's easy it's just a page it's not a group um the facebook page um obviously air show world you should be able to get in uh, touch with me um on that sweet i've not seen jamesy yet in the chat room come on jamesy we need you on here let us know about these aircraft but anyway we all know what they are for the uh, Eurofighter Typhoons I shall be um, down at Coningsby on Monday and um, Tuesday so um, hopefully all being well fingers crossed um, you know what technology is like um, we will be live um, on those days and then for the next few weeks going to um, some other air bases but I'll tell you more about that just a little later Thanks, Braz. Braz. Yes. Look at this shot then. How's about this? Well, Space Dreams, you're going to see that black, that black typhoon very soon. And there she is. We haven't got um, any shots of it yet flying, but um, that's, um, that's quite something, isn't it? Well, 
as always, a big thanks to everybody that's um, been uh, following us just recently. Um, where is this at? Ryan, this is um, REF Coningsby. Uh, it's um, a replay from... Uh, we were in the editing room, okay? So um, our very own Jamesy took these um, just the other week. So um, this is what we tend to do probably twice a week, once or twice a week, just depends on how things go. But boy, oh boy, we've got a lot of stuff to sh show you that's coming up over the next um, few weeks. The Rust Bucket, hey, give us a big wave, man. Hey, how are you doing? Great to have you on. And um, everybody else. Hey, we've got our very young James, Jamesy. I wondered where the hell you were. Okay, James Fenley, I think they are five, six, two seats, um, <laughs> five or six, two seaters flying left. Thank you very much, Jamesy. He's got a my, he's the mine of information when it comes to military planes. Keeping a check on the time. Don't forget, around about 8 o'clock, we shall be um, linking up live with Plane Talking UK. So this show will be going out live with them from um, around about that time. It's only going to be for around about um, three to five minutes because um, we need to get back to um, um, the show. So w when we do that, definitely um, stay with us. But I shall be also showing that beautiful A321 while we're actually doing that um, uh, live with those guys. So, all right, if you heard the da -da 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 dum that means I'm um, just checking with um, the guys at Plain Talking UK podcast. So, all, and um, we've got the green light with them. So, this is, um, yeah, I have said this is our second um, live editing um, sort of um, show, if you like, um, to have the privilege of being able to go out um, with plain talking UK, it's um, it's something quite special. So um, you know, it's amazing how things have really started to take off. And talking of taking off, <laughs> hey, Phoebe, you can't have your dinner yet. Anyway, she's not had her dinner yet. Dear oh dear, what are you messing about, at, young lady? Absolutely beautiful shots. These are stunning. Well done to our very own brilliant Jamesy Jimbo the man. And just to make it, uh, I was telling you about it the other day. You've probably seen the actual shot uh, of it. Um, he's, uh, he stands up sometimes about 12 foot up, clinging to um, clinging to this step ladder. How do you do it? I really don't know. When am I back at East Mids Airport? Well, I'm here all the time, to be honest. That's, that's where I am. That's where I'm based. Um, but as far as video is concerned, not too sure, because um, we're going to be going around the uh, country um, to the military air bases. That's from Monday. Keep listening out and make sure you subscribe. Airshow World. Do the option. Get those notifications. You don't want to miss anything, especially not for the next couple of weeks. Some special stuff coming up. Mark Webber Webster, nice one, Stu. Thumbs up. And even bigger thumbs up to you, my boy. Babe, uh, hey, the Gus Bucket. He's just got back from AMA. John Robinson. 
Thank you very much for the information. I love these head-on shots. <laughs> I shouldn't be saying this, but wow. Yeah, we're blowing our own trumpets here. But um, yeah, Jamesy, very, very nice. And don't forget, you can always rewind any of these and uh, watch them again at your leisure later. Looking cool, Phoebe Stern. So this is RF Coningsby, and that's where the bear will hopefully. Hey, you don't you don't know? We could have um, <laughs> could have crazy storms. Who knows? Um, but um, I think the weather's looking not too bad again for next week. And look at that beautiful. What we're going to do um, in around about um, three minutes is we will do a, um, it's like um, a hi bit of a history, gonna have a history story. No, um, so be bear with us on this. Um, there's some uh, stuff um, that we're going to uh, tell you all about. It's um, how Asia World all got started. Okay, so um, you might enjoy some of that. And then after that, that'll take around about um, three minutes. Then we'll get back to uh, obviously the videos. And what have you so that's why we are going um when we're actually going out on this um double live stream if you like um, with um, playing talking uk Go just sending a message to um, to Al. So come on, Al. There you are, mate. Hey, Al. I sent you loads of messages today um, with links and all the rest of it. <laughs> I sure did. Okay, one minute from now, let's have a look. So what we will be doing? We'll be going back to um, to this in a short while. So um, in about. Um, 45 seconds we're going to link up with um, plain talking podcast so as soon as he says hey we're live i will um go back to that so we will return back to coningsby very very soon So in the chat box, we've got quite a lot of people in here. So thank you very much. And don't forget, guys, keep on sharing and sharing and sharing. It all makes all the difference. So um, I really appreciate what you guys are doing and um, making um, a show world um, a success. It's amazing. I've been doing this now for a few, um, what is it, five, five weeks now with the live streams. But anyway, we will go through the history and what we've been up to with a show world in around about i think um 10 seconds as soon as i get the message from my good friends over there at plain talking uk absolutely beautiful as you can see on this the the sun is uh, starting to set over at rf uh, coningsby look at that beautiful and in a short while, we will um, be showing you um, some actual night flying with, uh, unfortunately, I don't think any of them did the afterburners on this particular one, but uh, never mind. So I think we're just about ready to do our link with um, Plain Talking UK. I just am um, waiting for this confirmation from you guys, and then I will start what we were going to do 
Hey, big hi to there, Stuart McIntyre says, and yep, it's RAF Coningsby to right, and that's where we will be live next week together with Marum, and uh, then heading down to Mildenhall and uh, doing our um, shows from down that part of the world. So please join us for that. Here we go. Okay, so guys, what we're going to do, we're going to do our, we're going to come back to this in just um, around about three minutes from now. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to say hi to, um, we're doing our live link right now. Um, so this is going out live with the guys over at um, Plain Talking UK. So what we're going to do, we're going to do um, a bit of um, a history of how uh, Airshow World actually got started. So, um, it all started around about um, 11 years ago. What um, first um, got me interested in this, or even to put just one video on YouTube, was um, my daughter. Um, she was actually um, invited by the uh, BBC, of all um, people, to have a day with um, the Red Arrows, which... Um, at the time, she was just nine years old, but um, she had this amazing talent for taking these fantastic aircraft photographs. But so if you want to see this um, BBC program, uh, it's actually on um, Airshow World YouTube channel. So all you have to do is just uh, literally go to Airshow World YouTube channel and type in Heather and uh, Red Arrows and you will find that. And uh, it's uh, I think uh, <laughs> you might like it. So. Um, What's that all about? Well, um, after that, um, she was then invited to do the Royal International Air Tattoo uh, official calendar. I mean, hey, we're talking a nine-year-old um, girl here to have the opportunity to do that. And that's exactly what happened. And it went on sale. And um, fortunately, she, um, she was paid for it. And it um, gave her the opportunity to buy this fantastic um, camera equipment, still cameras and what have you. So um, that was all down to Heather. So what um, what I try to do now, um, because of um, that success, is um, I try to encourage um, the um, the youngsters out there to um, start doing their video, um, going out there literally with their video cameras and what have you. And um, maybe one day they may um, start doing their live streams. So... Um, in fact, we've got a couple of youngsters that um, we've managed to, uh, well, they already had YouTube channels, um, such as Ethan Aviation. He's got his own YouTube channel. Now, that guy is only 13 years old, right? And um, he's taken some absolutely stunning videos and he's put them on his uh, YouTube channel. So uh, Ethan just came along, just like you guys in the chat room now, and said, um, hey, Stu, can you um, give us a mention? And that's exactly what I did and it's increased his subscribers so I've been trying to do that for quite a few other people well the youngsters and um, well whoever you are really to be able to um, I don't know encourage people to get out there and uh um, start something like this up and a couple of other people um, for example like um, Bradley Penny Aviation and Ryanair 001 um, fantastic um guys and that's what they're doing but anyway let's get back to um airshow world so after the uh, first video that um i i actually put on say this remember it was 11 years ago and i thought hey why don't i put some of the um airshow uh, videos on that um, i've uh, taken in the past because um i've been taking videos for a very <laughs> very long time in fact i used to uh, the the official um filming man if you like um for ref waddington and um Hey, if you want to see any of the, all of these videos, they're all on Airshow World uh, YouTube channel. I think we now have around about 1,600 different videos. So um, certainly worth uh, checking out. It's not just a couple of videos you see on the first page, you know. Anyway, as far as um, live streaming, um, well, what do we use? Well, it's a simple um, Sony video camera. It's fed to a streaming box. It's called an easy stream and it's actually uh, marketed and produced by a company called pci express it's a fantastic piece of kit it's around about the size of a uh, pack of cards so um, easily portable that is fed through to a mobile router and uh, it's all running off a small 12 volt battery and um, making it really portable so uh, if any of you guys have ever seen me you can you will uh, i'm not going to give uh, the game away but you will know um ethan will and his mom will know that it is uh, 
it's a pretty portable setup that I have and but it makes it perfect okay also of course um one of the guys in the chat box was um asking earlier um you know, how can we get in touch with um air show world well there's a couple of ways you could do that i've got a facebook page um which of course hey it just happens to be called air show world so um check certainly check that out and of course um We've got a Twitter um, page as well. well. It's not a page, you know, it's on Twitter. So, of course, Airshow World. But most important of all is the um, the little bit. Um, well, the little bit, which is uh, it's becoming quite a big thing for me at the moment. Uh, it's taking on all um, all of our time. Is, um, of course, Airshow World YouTube channel. So, um, hey, the most important things are please subscribe. That is really really appreciated and if you see any videos always give it that little bit of a, a thumbs up it helps with the uh, the ratings how youtube um, organizes everything and um, if you select the option to get notifications you'll you should know the moment that um, we actually uh, go live so that's um a little bit of a history lesson or if you like <laughs> it's like being back at school isn't it and um but i tell you what we're going to do now for the guys over at um plane talking uk i promised i would do a replay of this so let's start it right back from the beginning so this is um going out live but also for the people who are um, going to watch um, the actual um, audio version of um, the Plane Talking UK, you'll hear the aircraft sounds and all the rest of it. So what is it? So it was the arrival of this beautiful A321. It came up from France. So let's let the video roll, shall we, guys? So it's East Midlands Airport. And this came in on the um, Wednesday afternoon. The reason for this um, coming in was to pick up the... Um, Australian cricket team um, so this was on Wednesday while they were still playing and as you see it that's um, beautiful I love that hey it's even got the pretty lights on there on the uh, runway looking good so that's when the uh, aircraft actually arrived on um, Wednesday afternoon and Ethan was with me as well he as well he was filming that this was um, yesterday morning and uh, actually got to East Midlands Airport around about eight o'clock in the morning. Um, but this didn't leave till about one, about 1.40 yesterday. So on board at the moment, you've got the Australian cricket team. And in that aircraft, it is absolute luxury. It really is. La Compagnie. And I uh, hope I've got the pronunciation right on that. I've been saying it for around about a hundred times recently. And each time I get it wrong. I think I got it right that time what a bonus so there we go you see it taxiing out and this time unlike the day before absolute beautiful blue skies and sunshine so there we go just about to taxi down well it taxied down and it's just about to take off so let's let you hear the sound of those engines We'll just turn the volume up on that just a little bit so you can hear it. So there she goes, taxiing down the runway and just about to rotate this beautiful A321. So for anybody that uh, missed that on the live stream um, yesterday, it was um, a long wait, um, but hey, we had a lot of people uh, um, watching yesterday, all patiently waiting for this aircraft, but we had plenty of other things to fill in. So anyway, that just about, um, I think, wraps things up with our Plane Talking UK um, link. Hey guys, I hope that uh, all went well with um, you guys, and um, many, many thanks, and um, I hope we uh, catch up with you again very, very soon. So, Matt and the guys, I'll hand it all back to you. Thank you. Okay, then, chaps, um, we're back with Airshow World. And um, 
<laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let let us know in the in the comments. It was um, just something extra special that we uh, wanted to uh, put on tonight with um, Plain Talking UK podcast. And uh, by doing that, um, hopefully, um, it may um. May bring on a few extra opportunities anyway where were we that's it barcelona <laughs> hey oh phoebe stirred fred what a star he was yesterday wasn't it that was grateful wasn't it fred is a character 80 year old fred hey fred the ted Togo Simulations, I live in Madrid. You get away. Live in Madrid, fantastic. Elvis, Elvis, how are you? He's still singing those tunes. Uh, a very good evening to you, the one and only Elvis. I hope you're feeling fit and fine today, mate. And um, no more dodgy hearts, okay? I'll try not to uh, shout too much or whatever and make you jump. <laughs> hey mate, fantastic to everyone. The Rust Bucket. The Rust Bucket. The Rust Bucket, there you go. That's not one mention, that's three mentions, mate. I'll always mention you guys. Come on, that's what it's all about. It's all down to you guys that uh, make a show world um, the fun it is, you know? That's all it's about. Okay, I'm back, Sim, into Madrid. Toga, okay, hey. What have we got? We've got Gary Croson and says, Hi, from Stansted. Stan now, that's interesting. Gary, let me know. Is there any places where you can film, you know, do um, live streams and stuff like that from Stansted? If there is, hey, I might come down. Let me know on here. We will see what we can do. Mike Weber. Hello, smiley faces from him. And um, he says... It's good to see you live. I keep pinching myself. Yep, I'm definitely alive. I'm live. Unless you... Only watching it on a replay. Um... Who is that Arnie in there? Only on a replay. Um, let's go through the chat box. I don't want to miss anybody out because while I was obviously doing that um, live link up with um, uh, Plain Talking UK podcast, I wasn't able to uh, go through the uh, chat box. So... Yeah, Sean Bintley. This thing is beautiful. Ah, we're back where we um, left off um, a couple of minutes ago. So as you can see, the sun was starting to set. Over. So where James was um, filming this, um, he was down. Oh, come on. What is it? 2-5 end. Is that correct, um, Jamesy? 2-5 end? And behind you was um, Tattyshaw. So I think that's where we just zoomed around to just a moment ago to be able to get that um, sun setting. Hey, Birdman, we're all interested. Um, so, um, hey, it's all good fun. You can put what you like. The Rust Bucket, as your world, then I find you on YouTube Live. I like this guy. <laughs> what? Hey, hey, good old Jerry. He's a great guy, he's our, our Jerry. He does uh, Big Jet TV. And also, uh, I've been talking to um, Airliners Live, and uh, they have um, they came on the live stream yesterday. Fantastic bunch of guys. Um, based up at Manchester. Go to pop up and see them in a few weeks' time. Luis Baker, do a live. Don a nut, mate. Okay, if that's what you want us to do, that's what we'll do. It's as simple as that. Put your suggestions in and um, we will um, pop down to um, Donna Nook. And uh, think about Donna Nook, sometimes it can be um, uh, ghostly quiet. I've been there before and, and just seen uh, a few seagulls, but um, you've got to be in the know. Jamesy, get us in the know. Jamesy knows what's going on down there. In fact, James was down there Tuesday and Wednesday nights. So we might have some video to show you later. Um, well, on another one of these edits from the editing room. There you go. Let's hit, hear the sound of the takeoff. Lots of 
chit chatting going on tonight. Fantastic. That's what we love. John Bintley. Yep, keeping people informed. The um talking amongst yourselves. That is brilliant. Taxi down and run the hill. I know. <laughs> Getting too excited, that's what I am, you see. Um, okay, catch you later, I'll Lost Bucket. Six, zero, five, five, six, <laughs> what, a, what a team, eh? About TB Stern says you and Fred yesterday, um, after when the live stream ended, you were still talking about Fred talking about love. Uh, no way. What? It was still live. Get out of here. <laughs> that man gets me into all sorts of sorts of trouble, you know. Okay, WWNB Gaming. You know what? That sounds like one of these uh, radio stations um, in America, doesn't it? Hi, this is Radio WWNB. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, this is uh, blooming all and um, awesome. Hello from Smoky Seattle. Sleepless in Seattle. Um, Okay, let's we turn those um, titles down a little bit for you. I don't want to deafen you. Some people listen to this on um, headphones. Is that okay, guys? Let me know. That's what the chat box and being live is all about. Okay, where the heck were they? When I, so what? When I, I should worry. When I find you on YouTube live, it was like this. <laughs> What a guy, what a guy. Hey, we've got different accents, you know. But, um, Jerry is from um, down in London. Yeah, he's got a real um, London accent. I'm up north, you see. I'm, uh, you know, but um, I don't think I've got a northern accent. But I don't know. I don't know what accent I've got. Um, let's see. Space Dreams. Um, about nine o'clock tonight. This show should finish around about um, eight uh, about 8.40 we should finish tonight. Okay, so that's the end of the show. It's a um, message. No problem. Phoebe Stern, what have you been doing? Asia World. I have been texting Airlines Live on Instagram yesterday and uh, today. Hey, well, listen. When you text them, don't forget. Hey, mention the bar, okay? Mention Stu from Asia World. And uh, so I've been talking to those guys and... Uh, Fantastic bunch, they really, really are very enthusiastic, and um, you know, they um, they say just like Jerry, um, they'll do everything they can to help, um, help Airshow World. And just like uh, if you were here for the um, uh, history <laughs> that I did around about um, five to eight about Airshow World, and um, I try to do exactly the same for especially these youngsters. Ryanair 001, wow. I hope you um, um, heard what we were saying earlier. Um, I wouldn't want any of you to have missed that. Asher World is young, that's all I can say. Space Dream Vlog. Yeah, these night shots, beautiful. I'm trying to think. I think this was when um, I was actually with um, Jamesy this particular night. We did live from um, Coningsby. Beautiful evening it was. It was around about, um, what? Oh, still about 25 degrees, but there was a really warm breeze blowing, keeping us cool. Oh, it's your Viper. It's such a cool aircraft. Recently had to be launched for QRA for another Russian bear. Yeah, they call me the bear. Eco, three to one. I'm in Thailand, and now it's just 2.09. What on earth are you doing at um, 
Near at, um, well, it's now 12 minutes past, but 12 minutes past 2 in the morning. Gosh. In the morning. Oh, it's da, 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 da. Yes, day before it. Gosh, yes, it is. It's the morning. Cool fact. John! There we go. Hey, look, we're back on the uh, pan. Back on the apron. Did they call I always used to call it the apron. But, um, anyway, so that's um, our Coningsby uh, feature that uh, we just... Uh, or went through for you so without further ado this is a bit of a sh short um, video short but boy it's sweet um, so without further ado let's get going Marum the arrival of the uh, US Navy F 35s thank you John Robinson I will be there uh, at Coningsby next week if we've got action on Monday afternoon, we shall hit the live button and we'll go live. Oh, but if the jets are too loud, we can turn it down a little bit. You, yeah, it's got some important things to tell you guys, so you must... Hey, can you hear me? What have we got? Yeah, but occasionally you hear them saying on the radios with the uh, typhoons, um, clear for performance takeoff. And um, s if somewhere hidden on Escher World, amongst all those thousands of <laughs> videos, you will find uh, there's some videos there of performance takeoffs at night. And that was special. Ethan, Aviation, I hope you heard the show tonight. Um, something quite special. And uh, we uh, give you a good mention around about 5 to about five to 8. So I hope you didn't miss that, Ethan. But if you did, you can rewind the video. I can hear you, but I can't hear you, Phoebe. What... um. What we're trying to do is um, try new things all the time because I say what this at the moment is something new. These things from the editing room, obviously the live stream is um, you know all about that. This is live now. Thanks for the input. Yeah, it's in Adelaide now. The guy who lives across the road from me, our very own Colin. He um, actually uh, he told me that today, and I went, "Wow, <laughs> that was a good old flight." And he was telling me about the absolute luxury on that aeroplane. But, oh yes, that's it. What? Uh, uh, maybe at some time in the uh, future, I might try and um, U.S. Marine Corps, not Navy. Thank you very much, John Robinson. See, he's got, um, see I'm relying on Jamesy. Come on, Jamesy. You're not um, adding the information in the in the box. Jamesy should be out there and um, they're letting us know all about these aircraft because our very own Jamesy actually filmed this um, a couple of weeks ago at Marham. So, Jamesy, where are you? I've seen him once in the chat box, but only once. I hope you haven't got a... Um, I hope your computer's not stopped working. But anyway, Jamesy, beautiful shots as usual. Yes. What are my plans tomorrow, um, Asher World? Let's see. I'm probably getting everything ready for next week uh, while we're out and about and doing these um, live videos for you uh, from the air bases. So, um, yeah, it's all um, it's going to be busy. And uh, today <laughs> I was um, preparing for tonight. Um, there's... Um, you may think it's easy, but uh, there's, there's a lot of background work um, involved with all of this. Especially um, putting all of these um, together for tonight, all this uh, video editing. Right, I will get this one out. I'm as bad as um, these people who were doing the... Uh, <laughs> as bad as Murray Walker, not telling you what we wanted to say. But um, yes, everything's an experiment at the moment um, when we're in the editing room. So... Um, 
what uh, I might try and do at some point, I'm uh, not in the immediate future, but we might do uh, something where we can have actual um, sound chats, so you know you guys can um, you know um, say hi and all the rest of it, and uh, we can get you actually on the air. J just a few of you, you know, m maybe um, get our absolute regulars, uh, maybe John, maybe Phoebe, and also of course our very own Jamesy. That's something that um, you know um, something in the pipeline for um, in the future. That's if uh, you guys like the sound of that. It's something. You know, live from the editing room just to get you even more involved. So then, um, we'll, we'll see. See how that all uh, pans out. Have I heard from Fred today? Um, and is he okay? I think he's still recovering. And, um, you know, this, um, you'll, um, hey Phoebe, uh, but when we're filming sometime, you, you have to pop down and see us and uh, see Fred the Ted. But just be warned, he's a bit of a he's a bit of a devil, you know. I'm, you know, I know you're only um, in in your twenties. You know. <laughs> oh, we do have a bit of fun. Hey, can you see, hear the sound of the aircraft? Yeah, we can. Hear. Hey, by the way, if you haven't actually um, witnessed these um, F-35s yet, boy, oh boy, oh boy, are they noisy. They are so loud. And did I, did I read um, uh, just the other day that the um, UK government is thinking of uh, cutting back on the amount they're supposed to be having? Stephen Baker. Hi, guys. Hiya Stephen, I hope you're having a fantastic Friday evening. Just coming up to 20 past 8. You're very observant, aren't you there, um, Space Dreams? As you can see, night was falling as James was taking this. Aha, Fred Bloggs. Hey Chris, how are you? Hope you're having a good evening. I keep asking where on earth Jamesy is because I was relying on Jamesy tonight to um, uh, give you lots of information. He's probably uh, no, that's not James either. Show us the ATC air traffic control. Okay, right. So that's our little. Um, bit of video in from Marum. So Jamesy, Jimbo James, many thanks for that. It's very much appreciated. Okay, without further ado, what should we do? Should we um yeah, should we do this? Should we do this now? Yeah, we'll do it. Right, okay. Let's go straight to um Mildenhall. And um this was a bit of a special. It was the um literally James had to high tail it from Lake and Heath um, over to Mildenhall to uh, capture this absolute beautiful painted up C-130 Hercules. Look at that. Um, in the D-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da-Da
right and the editing van should i say and um basically just um going through what we've um, been editing today so showing you guys what uh, our very own jamesy what he's been up to and well i don't want to tell you exactly what he's been up to but um you know you know what i mean um but yes yeah, some of his um lovely video shoots down at um mildenhall giving you a bit of a taster of what uh, hopefully we might bring you next week a quick lol Aha, uh -huh, Space Dreams. We'll look out for that then, mate. And uh, Mr. McCabe, uh, found your channel via Jerry Big Jet TV, who was promoting you last week. I know Jerry is a fantastic... Look at the Osprey. Jerry is um, a great guy, and um, yeah, he uh, gives us a great mention and some great laughs as well. <laughs> He had me in stitches a couple of weeks ago, and uh, <laughs> um, brilliant. And uh, yeah, he's a good guy. We always give uh, each other a mention, and that's uh, Big Jet TV. And uh, he goes all over, literally all over the world. But so does our show world. But we haven't done any live streams um, uh, in different parts of the world. This is all. As your world, as you probably heard in the history, around about f uh, five to eight. You now know all about Airshow World, but um, the live streaming, time goes so fast, doesn't it? Right about 11, um, six weeks, I think we've been doing that. Yeah, the V-22 is beautiful. Keep watching, keep watching. You're going to um, see something special with them in, in just a minute. Yeah, the future. I love this aircraft. Yeah, we all do, mate. Cool. Phoebe, keep us posted. How you get on with that um, driving with yours, okay? With your test. Let us know. I wish you all the best and good luck. You know, it really does put a fantastic smile on my face when uh, you see messages from people who go to other... Um, these other streaming things um, so um, thank you very much and thank you Jerry don't forget Big Jet TV now for um, the likes of um, I don't know our East Midlands Airport um, regulars um, you will notice there's a Kalita Air now I wouldn't be at all surprised if that was the very same aircraft that was at East Midlands Airport that we filmed, of course, um, on a live um, stream. Um, let's think, not last Tuesday, the Tuesday before. Yep, these are some huge pla Oh, it's jumbo jet, beautiful. Mark Harper. Hello, Mark, and a very good day to you. Looks like Beeb Stern has just put out a video. I just had an alert, you see, because uh, I subscribe to our very own Phoebe Stern. Oh, brilliant, James. Where the hell have you been? I've been shouting. Everybody's been saying, where's Jamesy? Where is he? Give us the information about these aircraft. We wanted to know all about it. But anyway, James Finley is back. Finley. <laughs> Why did I call him Finley? God, I do not know. But anyway, looking at the moment, it's our Kalita. Using the call sign. Oh, you can hear it probably on the radio comms. Connie something something. David Crook, I shall be on um, for around about another probably eight minutes um, because these shows are normally about just over one hour for live from the editing room. So stay with us. Don't you dare go anywhere. If you have missed any, you can rewind it. 
Okay, let's try to get this one right. I hate it when there's a great big title for your name in there because my eyes can't cope with that. We'll have a go. Sherry Lynn Ridgeway. I think I got it all in, didn't I? She wants to say hi. Hope you're having a great evening. Looks like there's a bull blown. Hmm. How do you notice these things? Gosh. Now, unfortunately, in a minute, there's um, there's a big, there's either a mound or a tree that gets in the way. But with a bit of crafty editing, we will try to. Uh, so you can do this when you're when you've been editing. You can do things like uh, that. <laughs> but um, obviously when you're abs uh, live, you can't do that at all. That's why when we're live, I always say, hey, you get warts and all on this. Kalita Air, 747 Nice. Yeah, I must admit, I prefer the one that's got, you know, it's all uh, painted up. Um, but um, I'm sure that's the very same one we had at East Midlands uh, a week last Tuesday. Which, of course, we filmed live. Okay, here we have our KC-135. Now, Jamesy, in a moment, we're going to see that um, new tanker, okay, um, that the US Air Force are using. So if you could put some information all about that, please, in the uh, chat box, so that everybody can um, know all about that particular aircraft. It's this new... Um, Aircraft that the US Air Force are going to be using uh, apparently to replace the um, KC 135s. But James hopefully will tell us all about that in the chat box. That's why I'd really like um, in the near future to be able to um, probably get James on the audio and um, be able to uh, uh, get him part of the show, really, which would be quite good fun. Isn't it? And maybe a few other you, of you guys as well. Um, but um, it's, it's all things that are in the pipeline. Things that um, we want to try to expand with Airshow World. But it's all down to you guys. Let us know if you think that's a good idea. Hey, that's a good close-up shot. Goodness gracious. I see in their eyes. Almost. I've got glasses on. Mr. McCabe, 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 we'll call you that, went to Kemble, sad sight to see six British Airways 747 parked up, oh dear, hmm, that's a thought isn't it, hmm, how about that Jamesy, how about getting some um, videos of that, We'll check that video out soon, um, Phoebe. Elvis keeping us informed about aircraft activity. All right. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Space dreams. Thank you. Letting us know about the KC one, th um, the one thirties. Nice um, sunset shot there, James. I hope I'm not missing James's uh, messages coming through because um, I really want James to tell you all about this new um, refueling aircraft that uh, popped into um, Milden Hall. Just um, look at this shot. Look at this. Watch carefully. Oh, I love it. Was that look or what? Hey, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hey, I want to see that again. Get ready for this. Get ready. This is 
this is quite something. Now this is um, a shot we all want to get. Let's go for it. <laughs> and you even see the um, heat haze as it went past the moon. Oh my lord. That was beautiful. Anyway, night time. It's night time is the right time for knife 717273. Or how many they've got out there. Anyway, what are we talking about? The uh, Ospreys. Now, quite often, some people have seen these and gone, huh, what's that coming towards me? They think it's a UFO. Because in the distance, you'll see in a moment when the tilt rotors are completely turned into like a normal aeroplane, if you like. They look like this. And if you can imagine, you're in the pitch dark and you suddenly see that coming towards you. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> There's some of the shots we hope to get live for you next. Uh, from next Thursday, I shall be at Milden Hall. Ryanair 001. That was absolutely look. James will say, no, 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 no. It was skill. It was all planned. That was sheer look. Fantastic. And one of the absolute awesome, awesome shots. So well done, James A. Phoebe Stern, that was amazing. I've got to give him 100% for that. And there you go. Oh, C5. Wow. What a monster. What a beauty. And I think that almost brings the videos to a close. We're getting to um, around about um, 25 to 8. So don't forget, hey, you just got time to get the last few messages into the chat box before we say adieu. Okay, here's that um, aircraft I was talking about. Um, James, you haven't put that information in yet, or at least I can't see it in the chat box. I, uh, I have to get James on a um, different system so he can send the information direct to me. They certainly do look spooky. You imagine that coming towards you. The thing is, though, with an Osprey, you'll hear it before you see it. They will ra If they go over the top of your house, they will rattle. They will rattle the um, the bedsteads. I can tell you, they'll rattle everything in your house. They are so noisy. Wow. Hey, I don't complain. I I, I love them when I'm down at uh, Milden Hall. But they'll shake you out of bed. So, what we've got planned is to, um, round about um, 8 o'clock, 8.30 in the morning, we've got planned to get one of those Ospreys to go over the top of um, Phoebe's house to um, get her out of bed because she was watching this in bed the other day. <laughs> hey, is that right, Phoebe? What what a supporter of Escher World she really is. And um, good luck with your driving lessons and tests when you have your test in November. David, what does David Cook say watching the footage from Bruntingthorpe earlier? Ah, yes. Went all nostalgic watching the likes of the Victor Lightning and Buccaneer. Hey, David, have you seen the video we've got that um, there our very own James he took in a very privileged spot um, where the, vul um, the Victor, um, the Victor, yes, it was the Victor, wasn't it? Yes, where the Victor accidentally took off. If you haven't seen that, just search on Airshow World for the, uh, I think it's something like, um, oh, accidental takeoff of the uh, Victor. Something like that on Airshow World. If you've not seen it, uh, and to anybody else, you must see that video. Boy, oh boy, it wasn't supposed to take, they're not allowed to take off, but the wind caught it and up she went. Ah, oh, James, a, the message has just come through just in the Nicholas of time. Um, it was a KC um, 46. They will replace the KC 10s and KC 135s. Yeah, she was lazy that day. That's Phoebe Stone. James, 
thank you very much for that um, info on that James um, I don't know how we're going to do this but um, in the future you know, I want to try to get you linked up um, live with the um, streams you know from where you are even if it's just on audio um, I haven't sorted out how we can do that yet but um, hmm I'll have a ponder about it you know I'll probably be sleeping on it all tonight I'll get no sleep because I'll come up with a new um, uh, <laughs> flashlight in my head. You know, a, a, a bulb will go on in my brain and go, ah, that's how we could do it. How do you do it? So that, I think, um, well, I'll tell you what I am going to do. For anybody, especially our very own um, Al. Al Jones from down there in Mother Tidville, right? Because it was down to Al that we got this um, aeroplane and we um, filmed it live so I'm just going to play that this one more time for our very own Al and um, I think I actually put this out today um, as a video on uh, YouTube but um, I'll let you uh, watch this just that one more time because I know he uh, really enjoys this and help us out Stu right what do you want me to do there Space Dreams um, Phoebe Stern you make me laugh at your world <laughs> and what and the old boy. Oh dear, I love it when you say chat box. Okay, let's see the chat box. <laughs> oh dear, what have we got? What have we got? Yeah, all right, David. Gosh, you were so lucky, wasn't he, eh? And, um, um, our very own James was in a very it's lucky um, he wasn't where he um, was supposed to be he was um, we'll say no more on that but uh, James you're as, you was in a good good spot it saved your life really didn't it um, okay space dreams you can do that you can send us a message and um, for everybody that um, joined late uh, round about 10 it was about five to eight tonight we um did a live link up with um, plane talking uk and uh that uh <laughs> will be going out um to literally thousands and thousands of of people right so and we gave a good mention to our youngsters out there um like ryanair 001 we gave you a good mention also ethan you got a very good mention and um also um uh, I don't think Bradley Penny Aviation is on the channel tonight, but um, yeah, I sort of mentioned that I uh, just wanted to encourage these youngsters, or hey, even the old boys out there, you know. Hey, I've always said these sort of cameras, these uh, the camera that I use, this um, Sony um, uh, balanced image stabilizer thing, even your 90 year old grandma with shaky hands could get good shots with it. So, what do we got? If you want to get a message in the chat box, get that message in really quick because we're only going to be on the air for around about another um, three minutes. And then, because I don't want to take up all your Friday evening, you know, but I appreciate you um, sharing this about and uh, taking the time to uh, join us um, tonight. Especially it was a bit of a bit of a special show, um, really. Um, having that live link so i certainly um enjoyed that i hope it was a bit of fun for you and also giving you a bit of an insight to airshow world uh next week don't forget um fingers crossed with the weather we will be out and about um in the fields up to our um up to our knees in weeds and god knows what and uh, popping our heads up taking um these um videos for you um down we're going to be um, Coningsby, that should be Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, providing there is some flying. That's what it all boils down to. Um, we'll be um, attempting um, Marham. Then Thursday, hey, I'm going to take it easy, but I should be down at um, uh, Mildenhall and hope to be down at Mildenhall for maybe um, 10 days or whatever. So whenever we get any live action or something interesting, I'll just hit that live button and uh, go live. Also, 
Lake and Heath as well. So uh, lots to look forward to. And also we'll probably do um, an edit show as well um, next week. So keep tuned as always to um, Airshow World. And forget we've got that um, Facebook page as well. That's um, called Airshow World. I want to say many thanks to my right-hand man out there. That's our very own Jamesy. James, give, um, give me a call in about um, five minutes after the show. All right, I'd appreciate that. And uh, we'll have a quick chat. So that's um, just about or wraps things up for this um, Friday night, the 18th, at least I think that's the date, 18th of September. Bring in the time just before... Um, a quarter to nine so last couple of messages if you want to get that message in do it right now Stephen Connor I hope you have a great day at Manchester Airport tomorrow Phoebe hope it's dry and sunny for you what a friendly bunch you are Phoebe you're an absolute star as always we really appreciate you being on here and um Everybody else, Ryanair 001. Very good stream. Well, I hope you enjoy these. Um, little, I know it's, uh, I'm live, pinch a pinch. Um, but um, obviously the aircraft have been edited and, you know, filmed um, a, um, a week. Or maybe some of them were two weeks ago. But certainly worth um, going through with those. Uh, just running quickly through all the... Uh, chat box c5m um, says chris that was a good catch beautiful wasn't it the old galaxy such luck with that herc certainly was the one going through the moon that was that was superb wasn't it hey well if you want to see that again all you got to do is just rewind the video right so i think that's um let's have a look <laughs> um, YouTube has uh, actually uh, blocked James Fennelly's message because it thinks he's advertising. Hey, I don't mind a bit of that. It's not advertising. And um, James has said, I hope you liked my videos. Well, I hope you like my video editing. I'll tell you what, that took me all day to do that, did uh, young Jamesy. There was a lot of work involved with that. But um, James, you did a fantastic job. Don't forget, give us a call in about uh, five minutes after the show is finished. Phoebe, you don't even have to um, ask that question. You know very well I should be looking at your video after this show. Come on, hey, you know. It came up as an alert because um, I subscribe and I hit the option that says get notifications. And that's exactly what we need you guys to do if you haven't already. Um, you will know, especially for next week, because you will know the moment we hit that button. I can't give an exact time next for the next um, two weeks or three or whatever it is, because who knows what aircraft are going to go or when they go. What have we got? Last couple of messages. Mr. McCabe. 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 I don't know. Uh, but anyway. Oh, I'd, lo I'd love to know, um, young man. Um, where are you based? If you've got time to put it in the chat box, let us know whereabouts in the country you are. Because um, I haven't seen you on here before. So thank you. Right now, zero, zero, one. That, wow, that was a long time. So listen. Oh, one last message. Steve Connor. You're very welcome, Phoebe. I look forward to seeing your video later. And uh, don't forget, these are extra people. Subscribe to them. Right, I think that just about wraps the show up tonight. All day to edit. Wow. Well, that's uh, no um, exaggeration. Um, I've been working on them Wednesday, yesterday, and today. So, um, <laughs> And some of the videos before, um, such as the... Uh, these videos you see that go out, like last week's, the, um, I don't know, I'd put a World International Air Tattoo a video out with all the radio comms synced sync, um, separately. That took around about four months of work. And I'm not joking. There's a lot of work and a lot of patience to be able to do it. But, um, hey, why not? So, thanks a lot. Thank you, Space Dreams. And um, to everybody, thank you for joining me tonight. This is Stu the Bear wishing you a very best and keep watching Esho World, keep subscribing, keep giving it those thumbs up, pass the word, do the um, bit that says, what is it called? Get notifications. And remember, keep um, sharing Esho World. Thank you very, very much. You take care. We'll see you 
sometime next week. Good luck, Phoebe. Have a good day tomorrow. Bye-bye now. Good night.